This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Health Prompt, which is an application of prompt based learning for clinical natural language processing. This publication is from researchers from University of Pittsburgh. Okay, so what have they done over here? They've taken clinical text like this, right? The patient has cough and expanded chest that does not deflate when he exhales. Basically, this is a piece of input clinical text which needs to be classified. They convert this using a prompting function like this. Okay, where you have the clinical text over here and then this is a symptom of Z disorder. Z is a slot or a prompt which needs to be filled okay, using the prompt learning method. And over here, this slot can be filled with say words like lung, asthma or respiratory. Okay, so this is what they have converted, you know, the classification of clinical text into a prompt based learning problem. Okay, so what is zero shot learning? Okay, so zero shot learning refers to the use of deep learning models to classify instances from new classes of which no training data have been seen before. Okay. For example, just with this uh, text, you would want to classify this uh, text. Okay. Basically find the uh, disorder over here without this, actually without training a model to do this. Okay. That is zero shot learning. So in the training data, this is not present. You have not trained a, a deep learning model to do this. Okay. So that is zero shot learning. Okay. So before zero shot learning, there was something called as few shot learning. For example, what was done is that uh, the state of art biomedical and clinical pre-trained language models, okay, which are like BioBert and clinical BERT, they have been pre-trained on millions of clinical texts, including EHR and radiology reports. Okay. So pre-training, a pre-trained language model is nothing but a neural network trained on vast amount of unannotated data in an unsupervised way. So you have these methods like masked language uh, modeling and next sentence prediction for a pre-trained language model. So these are pre-trained language models in the clinical and biomedical domain, bio BERT and clinical BERT. So once pre-training is done, then for downstream tasks like name identity recognition, they used to do fine tuning this pre-trained language model with lesser amount of star specific annotated data. So this is called as few shot learning. You have few examples on which you will fine tune a pre-trained language model. Okay. But what is zero shot learning is that you would want to uh, actually use this pre-trained uh, model, but you want to make predictions on unseen data. Okay. So prompt learning is a method by which you can do zero shot learning to get more details on what is prompt learning and in prompt learning you how do you make use of pre-trained language models what is prompt engineering i have actually created videos on my channel uh, like on each of these topics uh, what is uh, prompt learning what is prompt engineering what are pre-trained language models uh, for prompt learning i will put the dis uh, link to these videos in the description of this video you can check out over there Okay, let's go back to this particular paper now. Okay, so they used uh, different uh, prompt language, uh, what you call pre-trained language models like this over here in this particular paper, uh, like BERT, Roberta, BioBERT, Clinical BERT, GPT-2 and uh, T5. Basically all of them are transformer models. So how did they do this, uh, you know, health prompt uh, paradigm? So how did they do this? Okay, so what they did is that in their, uh, whole concept of a prompt based model over here. So they first have something called as EHR chunk encoder. Okay. So your EHR or electronic health document is a large document, which will have, you know, a lot of uh, sentences, but your pre-trained language model has limitations in terms of number of tokens. So you are actually, what they are doing over here is they're splitting that EHR document into segment of texts or chunks. So that will form a chunk level representation. Okay. Then they define certain labels in the uh, prompt, basically in your, uh, uh, for classification over here for zero short text classification. Then they choose a pre, uh, trained language model 
for example biobert and clinical bert works better on biomedical and clinical data then there is a template definition for the prompt right and then there is an inference okay and they also have a concept called chunk level pooling and final label okay so what is the idea over here you have an ehr document which is, is large text for example in mimic 3 uh, you have average of 8k tokens per document okay which is split into chunks there is a chunk level representation then the chunk is basically fed into this prompt based model which has a particular template inference is done you get labels and then you do a chunk level pooling on these labels to get the final label for example if this document was talking about cardiac diseases right the final label is some cardiac disease over here so different segments of this document may talk about cardiac disease may also talk about other diseases but when you do the chunk level pooling you find that most common label you are using max pooling or something the most common label is actually cardiac disease so then this document will get classified as a cardiac disease document that is the whole idea over here okay so this is where they explain the chunk level uh, pooling over here so basically you have an ehr document which is split into uh, you know a segments which is given into chunk encoder then you get a chunk representation for each chunk you get a label out of this particular prompt based model and then you do label pooling on the labels to get your final label okay so in this architecture the important thing is this template definition right so how do you actually define templates for these prompts okay so here they create two kinds of prompts one is a close prompt and one is a prefix prompt so if you look at this example this is a prefix prompt because here you have your original text okay here you have the task basically to predict a disease and then the mask basically you are trying to predict the disease so these kind of templates are called as prefix prompt templates okay so this is another uh, example of a prefix uh, pro, uh, prompt template so here you have text this affects something okay so for example you have some uh, clinical text over here saying that uh, uh, this patient had hypertension now this affects probably the heart right then this is another example of a close prompt where you have the mask present within the text and some other text this is your input text this is your text as part of the prompt over here okay so here the task is the prompt but in this case you know you have your original text over here and then you have the uh, mask and then you have some text these are called close prompts okay so here is some an example of this thing of a close prompt uh, for example x this is a z disease x is your original clinical text this is a disease so this is the idea over here okay disorder or type of disease so you have four prompts which they used in this particular uh, paper okay for pre-trained language models as i said before they use bird biobird clinical bird roberta gpt2 and t5 and for the data set what they used is uh, you know they use this mimic database where they took the phenotype uh, based uh, notes okay so this is the phenotype category and these are the number of documents basically there is a patient note and it has been classified to a phenotype already so these are the number of documents for each phenotype phenotypes are advanced heart diseases chronic neurological dystrophies depression advanced cancer and so on so now the task was given a document from this category can it get predicted to this category when the document is being classified okay and uh, for uh, evaluation they used uh, accuracy and f1 score okay and there is another thing over here how do you infer the answer okay so basically what they do over here is that they use a concept called verbalizer function is defined for the pre-trained language model to predict the probability distribution over the label set then they take the highest probability is selected as the predicted token so basically over here the labels are these now in your prompt learning it has to actually predict that uh, you know this type of disease given that entire document okay or this disorder right so that is what is being done over here and uh, when they did the evaluation they find that for uh, you know clinical bird gives the better results over any other pre-trained language model this is because obviously clinical bird is pre-trained on clinical text 
compared to the other BERT models over here. And uh, what they claim is that the other, border, other models like GPT-2 or uh, T5 or Roberta or BERT, norm, they have been not trained with uh, clinical text, right? Whereas, uh, you know, clinical BERT and uh, BioBERT are related to clinical and biomedical domain. Okay. And they are claiming over here is that uh, they could get uh, this uh, results over here in terms of accuracy and precision, uh, basically accuracy and F1 score. So these results show that prompt based learning can effectively apply the clinical BERT model to clinical text classification task in a no training data setting. So that is what they have achieved over here. Basically zero shot text classification using prompt learning. Okay. So you are basically classifying clinical text without looking at examples. You need not have large annotated data set to achieve clinical text classification. You need not have large annotated data sets over here. Okay. What would have traditional methods done over here? Traditional methods would have used these labels, created a, trains, a training set out of these um, uh, documents right then train a machine learning algorithm on this document then given a new document belonging to a category it would be able to classify here you have not done any of those things all you have done over here is that you have actually created a prompt like this right for example for classification like this where you have this clinical text and this thing you have chosen a particular pre-trained language model like BioBert or clinical BERT and then you have fed it into this prompt learning framework and you get zero shot classification okay so that is what has been achieved in this particular uh, paper it's quite an interesting work uh, they have implemented this using the open prompt python library i would also be interested to try this kind of uh, techniques on clinical text to do some zero shot classification or named entity recognition i hope you find this video useful if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I will put a link of this paper as well as my previous videos on prompt learning in the description of the video. Please check out. See you in another video. Happy learning.